Sit-on-top kayaks, abbreviated as SOT, have become more popular in recent years. There are different reasons for their rise in popularity, including easy access and the fact that the paddler has easy access on and off the kayak, which is a big deal for some people. We have listed the top five best sit-on-top kayaks and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number 5. Lifetime Tamarack Angler 100 If you enjoy casting a bit of bait while on the water, Lifetime Tamarack Angler 100 is the best sit-on-top kayak for fishing on our list. It's comfy to sit on, has plenty of storage both dry and open, and comes with a fantastic price that makes it the best value option for your money. The hull is made of blow-molded HDPE that not only ensures impact resistance, but also provides great UV protection. The bottom is flat and has stability chine rails, so the kayak will stay stable while you're casting or reeling in. To compensate for this, it comes with a molded-in skag for improved tracking, as well as a sharp bow to improve gliding. Both the seat bottom and backrest are padded, making it cozy for all-day fishing sessions. The backrest is adjustable using the webbing straps to give you proper support when paddling or holding the rod. Additionally, Tamarack Angler 100 also has molded-in footwells for leg comfort. The best thing about this kayak is the inclusion of three rod holders in its design. Two flush mount rod holders are placed beside the seat while the swivel rod holder is on the right hand side. Finally, there's plenty of gear packing options too, two bungee areas and two dry hatches. Number 4. Civilor Quick Pack K1 This is definitely the best budget sit-on kayak available. If sit-on kayaks have a weakness, it's that they can be hard to transport and store. You are limited to paddling on water that you can actually reach by road. The Sevalor Quick Pack K1 one-person kayak is inflatable, so you can store and transport it easily and carry it to otherwise inaccessible bodies of water. It's a high-quality, small sit-on-top kayak, and it's very easy to carry as it's inflatable. While this sit-on kayak is not the most stable or rugged kayak, it's easily the most portable. If you are an apartment dweller who wants a kayak that is easy to carry and store, the Sevalor Quick Pack K1 one-person kayak is definitely worth considering, especially for occasional use on calm waters. Number 3. Perception Pescador 10 This offering from Perception tracks well and is stable under moderate conditions, more suited to light rivers and lakes. There is a large dry storage compartment on the bow with cover. There's a second open storage area at the rear with shock cords and another small covered hatch. There are straps to secure the paddles when not in use. The R15 Pescador 100 can be carried around pretty easily and supports weights up to 325 pounds. Number two, Wilderness Systems Tarpon 120. The Tarpon 120 is a 12 foot sit on top that could be a good choice for larger paddlers or if you plan to head out with a lot of gear. There's plenty of room for your gear with a large storage deck with bungee cords at the stern and a large storage hatch at the bow. There's a second smaller storage hatch in the center that can be useful for small accessories and valuables. The Tarpon has a padded, slightly elevated seat which can make longer paddling trips a bit more comfortable. While this can be a great craft for a camping trip, it can also be ideal for fishing, with gear tracks along the sides so you can attach rod holders or gadgets. This yak is built for stability and maneuverability and can be a good choice for a range of water types, from flat water to rivers and oceans. Number 1. Emotion Spitfire Those looking for a sit on top at the more bargain end of the scale could consider the Emotion Spitfire kayak measuring in at 9 feet long. It comes with a padded seat and separate padded backrest. There is a storage area at the stern with a cover to go over the top. There's also molded paddle holders and handles on the side to make carrying easier. So quite a lot of features for a kayak priced at the lower end of the scale. The biggest reported problem with this inexpensive SOT is that the stability and tracking isn't the best. 
If you're just paddling around leisurely on relatively flat waters, you should be fine. But if you are powering ahead, then the tracking issue can increase in intensity. When choosing the length of the sit-on-top kayak you'd be most comfortable with, you have to keep the following in mind. Kayaks with more than 10 feet of length are the most efficient when kayaking for speed, while those with less than 10 feet in length are the easiest to maneuver and carry in and out of the water. The beam of your kayak is also something you have to consider before purchasing a sea kayak. The beam is the point of any vessel, usually at its midpoint, that is widest. It should be wide enough to withstand the wildest waves and thin enough to maintain the kayak speed. A beam that is too wide can cause your kayak to tip, meaning that kayaks with an average sized beam are the safest choice. When choosing what sit-on-top kayak to invest in, consider the amount of weight it's able to withstand. This is particularly important if you're thinking about bringing a lot of gear on board. It's recommended to pick a kayak that has a higher weight capacity so you don't end up sinking the kayak when it's full with equipment. There should be some room left for the boat to properly operate without being overloaded, which means recreational kayakers require space in their sit-on-top kayaks for equipment, gear, and of course comfort. In the case of a sit-on-top, kayak storage is not super important unless your intended use includes fishing, in which case you'll know exactly what you need. It's best if your kayak has a dry storage space under your seat for easy access to essentials like valuables, water, and snacks. Bungee cord systems are also a great option for bringing extra gear by securing it to the hull of the kayak. Regarding price, some sit-on-top kayaks will cost more because of the material they are built from, while others will be more affordable because of the small storage space they provide. You have to decide what features are important to you and what features you can do without. Sit-on-top kayaks can be as inexpensive as about $300 and as expensive as $1,500. Keep in mind that you generally get what you pay for with kayaks. Let us know in the comments below which sit-on-top kayak you're going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you in any way, please give the video a like. And if you don't want to miss out on future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you with the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.